For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how to use a touch screen in CircuitPython. In this case, I'm using a Pi Portal Titano, the big one. Uh, so you can see here, what I have to start with is this really cool bouncing logo. Touch screen element here can give us X and Y position as well as pressure. I'm just using X and Y. So all I need to do is touch somewhere on the screen and you can see I'm repositioning where that logo is. I'm not changing anything about its sort of inertia and, and angle that it's going at. Uh, but if I have it, let's say, bouncing down into the left and I just want to speed things along and get closer to the bottom there, I can tap it. Just moves the logo to that new position. Uh, and in fact, if I click and drag, you can see it will follow my finger around until I let go. So the way I'm doing this in code, first of all, I'm importing the Adafruit touchscreen library. And then I do some display stuff, some uh, set up some palettes and uh, set up my logo as a bitmap. But the touchscreen stuff is right here. I'm creating this object, I call it TS for touchscreen. TS equals Adafruit touchscreen dot touchscreen. And then we're telling it four pins that it uses, a four wire touchscreen. And on this particular board, they're named uh, touch YD. So Y axis up and down, uh, YU and X right, X left. So those four pins are selected. The calibration values actually are set at the factory, so you generally don't have to mess with those. And then I'm telling it what size the display is. That's all you have to do for setup. Then to use it, all we do is query this, touch equals TS dot touch point. And what that's gonna give us is an X and a Y position on the screen. It also gives us that Z depth, I'm just not showing that here. And then I'm using those to adjust that value that was already in the code for moving this around. So you can use this for things like painting or placing objects or drawing, maybe even changing vertices on vector IO stuff would be kind of a cool use for it. And so that is how you can use a touch screen inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.